Hey there, you guys. So we've got a couple of new movie offerings for you this week. One of the movies way better than the other one. Take a look at my Dean's List reviews. Just when I thought I was sick and tired of superhero movies comes one that's full of heart, tradition, and humor, Blue Beetle. The story of a young man, the first in his family to graduate from college, who returns home when he comes in contact with an ancient relic that attaches itself to him, bestowing him with unbelievable powers, powers that can be used for good or for evil, which is the battle that takes place on the superhero part of this movie. But the real superpower of Blue Beetle is its sense of warmth and family and tradition, all expressed through the prism of this close-knit loving Mexican household suddenly turned upside down. Although the core of this movie is 100% Latino, it's also 100% relatable to anyone. While the good versus evil battles are kind of routine, the humor and the spirit of family here is considerable, all wrapped in the arms of Latino culture. Now, I didn't understand some of the references and jokes, but the audience I was in sure did, howling at the familiarity and relatability that was contagious to me and everyone around. I felt like I was visiting a family home at which I was more than welcome. Blue Beetle was a really nice surprise and a Dean's List B. I'm lost. You're a stray man. You can do anything you want. This beer doesn't taste good, but I like how it's making me feel. Also new this week, I have seen some dog movies before, but this one takes it too far. Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx star in the very R-rated talking dog comedy, Strays. Ferrell is the voice of a border terrier who vows revenge on his owner who dumped him in a strange city. Fox is the stray who shows him the ropes of life on the street. While there are plenty of cute dogs in this movie, this movie is not about cuteness. It's a vulgar F-bomb fest that mostly exists just to see how raunchy it can get. This pooch was pooped out way before the credits rolled. At least it was only 93 minutes long, a Dean's List C-. minus. You can always get my movie reviews sent to your phones every week by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by Disney's Beauty and the Beast that's at the Shakespeare Theater through Sunday, August 20th.